the next episode of Ted Lasso has dropped. A couple of days ago, it dropped. I watched it. I enjoyed it. And it was an absolute gripping one, to say the least. A lot went down. We're going to talk about it. But before then, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts. Spoilers ahead. And enjoy the video. So, Ted Lasso, episode 7, 8, um, whatever it is. Um, it's episode 8. We only have four episodes left. We are coming to the conclusion of a brilliant season. A big one this week as Keely has her video, her sex-related videos, leaked to the world due to, obviously, an unknown source's email and stuff being leaked. And it gets revealed that it's Jamie's. Um, really good stuff that led up to that, you know, the whole changing room dynamics, you know, deleting phones and all that, photos and all that sort of stuff so it can't get leaked. Uh, an incredible moment between Isaac and Colin, obviously, finding out that he is... Um, you know, he's not out, but he's tried. He's been he's been hiding his um his LGBTQ status, if you will, his homosexuality. Um, and yeah, it was such a it was a really um touching moment, and but also very tense, if you will, because Isaac was just like, oh, okay, you know, in that sort of moment, he hands the phone back, he walks away, and it's like. We know it's going to be a big thing. We know Colin's going to probably tell the whole team at some point, but it's up to him when he tells him. It's his information. It's his life. Uh, the whole Keely stuff was brilliant. Roy was there for her in this episode. Obviously, went a bit overboard when he asked about who the video was for, which isn't a really a Roy thing. But again, you're not always going to be able to say the right things and understand that you're saying the wrong things you know the interaction between jamie and keely at the end of the episode was one of jamie's best moments his development from the moment i saw him in episode one where he was this cocky ass motherfucker to this person who's taking ownership for himself apologizing to the person who meant the, the most to him in, in this world um you know, Keely broke up with Jack by the end of the episode because she was blaming Keely for all these mistakes she had made and tried to apologize for these videos that she had no intention of leaking to the world, but other people had other ideas, and that Keely should take ownership for that, which is in, which is completely horrible. Um, and for Rebecca to be there for Keely, as I said, Roy and Jack, uh, Jamie, the team to be there for those people to be in support. Um, I think Nate had a great episode. He's obviously in a very good place now with Jade. They're obviously boyfriend and girlfriend by the end of the episode. The fact that he's really happy that Ted and his son and Beard came to cheer him on. And you can definitely see by the end of this season, they're going to have a really good talk. They're going to have an understanding that they can live in the same world, both coach at different teams. Or even be back at the same team. I just know the beef will be destroyed and crushed. I believe he'll go against Rupert and obviously maybe get sacked by West Ham for the interaction between him and Ted. But I can tell Jade will put him on a better path to pleasing his dad, to pleasing himself, to pleasing all the people around him that have probably doubted him his entire life. It's going to be an enjoyful, enjoying and joyful path. And I think Henry is a massive key in this. Henry likes Nate. He wants Nate and Ted to get along. He's a West Ham supporter. Um, And I think it resonates when you get to see these moments when Nate saw Ted in the crowd and he sort of waved at him. And you could tell they, they, they don't want to hate each other. They just want to enjoy the game. They want to go back to what they once were. And I, I look forward to how we get back to that point. You know, Ted was obviously dealing with the fact that his ex-wife um, and Dr. Jacobs could be possibly getting engaged in Paris, whilst obviously he looks after um, Henry. But I also love Rebecca's conversation in this episode, you know, listening to the Beatles in the background at the pub with all the fans and all the people in town. It's a really nice moment. She literally just says, go and spend time with your son, stop worrying about things that may never happen. And I just think the cast and the crew and the stories they try to tell in Ted Lasso is truly fantastic. You know, they open the episode up with four back-to-back -back wins. They're on the they're on the rise, utilizing the tactics they used in the last game against Manchester City. Was it Manchester City? 
whoever they faced in, at the end of last episode. You could tell it's getting through to them. They're becoming more of a collective team. They're trying new things. And it's just a really, really good time in the show. And I also want to point out, I loved how they did the Diamond Dogs in this episode. And then Nate tried to create something in the um, uh, Love Hounds. It was absolutely brilliant. When he called these people, I was like, oh, is he going to sack them all? Is he going to change them? And then he goes... He goes, we are the love hounds, and I'm just like, Magdalene oh, Fruit has rocked up, and he did this. It would have been fantastic. It would have been brilliant. It would have been probably the highlight of the series. But I love Nate's Nate's character at the moment. They have developed him in such a fun and brilliant way. Um, you know, Keely's bond with the people she once dated was is fantastic. Rebecca just doing what she knows best, and I just can't wait to see how things finish in the finale you know where are richmond going to be as a team is keely going to be back with roy or jamie um it would be amazing if she was with jamie in the sense of it would be so full circle he'd be a different person with keely and he'd probably want more from life as much as i'd love to see roy and keely back together whatever happens happens i love beard's relationship with henry the way he cares for henry like that is his own it's truly a brilliant show it's i love how each episode is basically nearly an hour long it's so easy to watch you're invested in every single character there isn't one bad character the only person that really probably annoys me is danny rojas he's just so annoying but um because he he just screams most of the time he's like or cries or whatever but um yeah it's truly a gripping show you all need to check it out like i said it's four episodes left four weeks left of ted lasso so we've got we've got it at least till I think I think the last day is May 31st. So check out on the channel every Wednesday. It is Friday today, but every Wednesday I'll be posting Ted Lasso videos. So do stick around for that by subscribing, liking, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.